Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add next and previous buttons to your Blogger website. So here we can see this is a Blogger website and if I go into a post, we can see that the post is displayed over here. And if you scroll down, here we need to add a next and previous button. So here we'll have a previous button and here we will have a next button. And if the visitors click on the previous button, they'll be taken to the previous post. And if they click on the next button, they'll be taken to the next post. So this is what we're going to do in this video. And uh, this is going to be our design. So here we have the previous button and here we have the next button. We also have this uh, simple animation for these icons. All right, so let's get started. <laughs> Now to add some additional information to your blogger website, you have to edit the HTML of the theme. So if you go to the blogger dashboard and if I click on theme, here we can see we are using this theme called Contempo Lite, which comes by default with blogger. And you have to click on this arrow and click on edit HTML and you have to add the code into the theme code. And after that, the buttons will be displayed over here. But first of all, let's design this. Now the blogger code editor is not that good. So we will design this in VS code. And then we will just copy and paste the code to our blogger website. Right here, I have created this folder called navigation buttons and I just opened it with VS code. Now let's go ahead and create the necessary files. So let's click on new file and let's create an HTML file. I'll just name it index.html and let's also create a CSS file. I'll just name it styler.css. Let's start with the index.html file. And in VS code, you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab. And you will have this basic HTML file code. And let's link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and in the SRF, I'll just type style or CSS. All right, now let's start with the markup of these buttons. Now let's create a container division for both these buttons. So let's create a division with the class of nav buttons container. And in that we will have anchor tags for these buttons because uh, they are links basically. So when we click on these buttons, we need to go to a certain page. So let's create an anchor tag. And for now, I'll just type hash over here. And we'll also give it a class. So let's type class. And let's give it a class of previous button. Now in the anchor tag, we need to have this icon and this text. So first of all, let's create a division with the class of icon. And in this, we will add the icon. So I'll just get the icon from heroicons.com. Right, so here I'm in heroicons.com and let's search for left. And uh, we have a lot of icons over here. Let's copy this one right here, chevron double left. So let's click on copy SVG and let's paste it over here. And the next thing we need to have is this text called previous. And for that, let's create a division with the class of label. And here, let's type previous. Now for the next button, let's create one more anchor tag. And let's give it a class of next button. And here, the first thing we need to have is this text. So let's create a division with the class of label. And let's type next over here. And then we need to have the icon. So let's create a division with the class of icon. And let's copy the next icon from here. So let's go back to here icons. And here let's type right. And let's copy this chevron double right. And let's paste it over here. All right, so that's basically it with the HTML of our design. Now let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called live server in VS Code. So you can just install this extension. And now you can just right click over here on the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see that our design is opened in the browser. Now let's style this using CSS. So we have already linked our CSS file over here. So let's go to our style or CSS file. Right now, the first thing we will do is we will decrease the height and width of these icons. So let's go back to our index.html file. And the icons have a division with the class of icon, which are inside the nav buttons container division. So let's go back to our CSS and let's type nav buttons container. And in that we have the icons. So let's type icon over here. And let's set the width and height to 20 pixels. Right now, the next thing we need to have is we need to have both these elements one next to the other. So let's set a display of flex. So let's type nav buttons container, display of flex. Now, even for these buttons, we need to set the display to flex so that the icons are next to the text. Now for the buttons, we have a class of previous button and next button. So let's target them. So let's type now buttons container, previous button. And let's also target nav buttons container, 
next button and let's set the display to flex and let's also set the align items to center so that everything is vertically centered now we will have a little bit of gap between this icon and this text so let's set a gap of 8 pixels and let's set the font family to Roboto and we'll also add a background color so we'll set the background color to 023047 and let's set the color of the text to white and we'll also remove the underline so let's type text decoration and set it to none and let's add a padding and let's set it to 8 pixels top and bottom and 24 pixels left and right and we'll set the font size to 16 pixels right now the next thing we need to do is we need to have this previous button on the left and the next button on the extreme right now if you go back over here to the nav buttons container we can see that we have set a display of flex and if I just type justify content and set it to space between we can see that the correct positioning is added to both these buttons but if you go back to the index.html file and if I just comment this previous button over here now we can see that the next button is on the left now we don't want this to happen we want the next button to be always on the right so let's go back and let's remove this line of code and here for the nav buttons container let's set a position of relative and for the next button let's set the position to the right so let's type nav buttons container next button and let's set the position to absolute and we'll set the right position to zero and now we can see that the next button is on the right and now if you go back to the HTML and if I just comment this previous button we can see that the next button is still on the right right now let's go back and let's also set a min width for these buttons so let's type min width and let's set it to 100 pixels and I will also bring it to the center so here I'll just type justify content and center right now the last thing we need to do is add the animation for these hover effects so here we can see we have these animations for the icons so for that let's type now buttons container previous button colon hover icon so when we hover over the previous button we will have the animation set to the icon so we'll create an animation called nav anim so let's type animation and we'll name it nav anim and let's set the duration to 300 milliseconds and we'll set it to alternate and infinite right now let's create this animation now to create the animation you have to type at keyframes and you have to type the name of the animation so we have named it nav anim and we have to add the keyframes over here now the first frame is already over here the default one now let's add the last frame over here so you can just type 100% or you can also type 2 and here we need to move the icon to the right and to the left so let's type transform translate x and let's set it to 4 pixels right now let's hover over this button and we can see that we have the animation for the previous button and now for the next button we need to add a different animation so let me just show you what happens if I just add the same animation so here if I just type nav buttons container next button colon hover icon now if you hover over this we can see that the icon moves to the right but here we can see the icon moves to the left so we need to have a different animation for the next button so let's cut this from here and let's paste it over here and we will rename this animation to nav prev anim and for this we'll create an animation with the name of nav next anim so let's copy this line of code and let's paste it over here and let's type nav next anim and let's copy this keyframe from here and let's paste it down here and uh, this one is called nav prev anim and this one is called nav next anim and here for the transform translate we need to type negative 4 pixels right now let's go back to our website and here we can see we have the animation for the previous button and we have the correct animation for the next button so everything is working all right let's also add some margin top for these two buttons so let's scroll up and here for the nav buttons container let's type margin top and let's set it to 24 pixels right now we are done with the design of the previous and the next buttons now let's add this to our blogger website so let's go to the blogger dashboard and go to theme and click on this arrow and click on edit html now here you have to go to the blog widget so let's click on this button called jump to widget and let's click on blog one now here you have to look for an includable with a var of post so if you scroll down 
Here we can see we have this includable with an ID of post and a var of post. Now if you cannot find this, you can just press Ctrl F or Command F and just add this line of code and just search it over here and you'll find this line of code. Now you have to go to the end of the includable. So this includable starts from here and it ends over here. So let's go just before the includable ends and uh, let's add our code over here. First of all, let's check whether we are in the correct position. So let's add an H1 and let's see where we are. So let's start testing and uh, let's click on save. Now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And here we can see we have testing displayed over here after the end of the post. So we are in the correct position. Now we need to add the next and the previous buttons over here. So let's go back to our theme code. And let's go back to our custom code. And let's delete this H1 from here. Now let's add the code over here. But first of all, we need to add an if condition and we have to check whether we are on a post. We should not be on the home page when we display the next and the previous buttons. So first of all, we have to make sure that we are on a post. So let's add an if condition over here. Now to add an if condition, you can just type less than b colon if and in c or nd, you can just type the condition. Now for the condition, we have to type data colon blog dot page type equals and here we just type item. So posts are called items. And let's close the if condition over here. Right now in this, let's add the HTML. So let's go back to our code and let's go to the HTML. And let's copy everything from here till the end. And let's paste it over here. Now in this, we need to check one more thing. We need to check whether we have a previous post available. And we also need to check whether we have a next post available before showing these buttons. So here just before the anchor tag, let's add an if condition. So let's type b colon if c o n d equals and for the condition, let's type data colon older page URL. Now this condition will check whether we have a previous post available and let's close the if condition after the anchor tag. And let me just arrange this. Now in the same way, let's add an if condition for the next anchor tag. So here we'll just type b colon if c o n d equals and here we need to type data colon newer page URL. And let's close the if condition after the anchor tag. And let me just tab this to the right. Now the last thing we need to change in the HTML is this link. So we need to add the link of the previous post over here and the next post over here. So instead of an href, let's change this into an expression. So let's type expr colon href. Now we can add variables over here. So let's type data colon older page URL. Now this will give us the URL of the older post. And let's go to the next button over here and let's change this to an expression. And here we'll just type data colon newer page URL. Right now the last thing we need to do is add the CSS. So let's scroll up. And here's the CSS of the theme. Let's go to the end. And uh, here let's add a comment. Let's type previous and next buttons. And let's go back to our source code and let's go to the CSS file. And let's copy all of the CSS from here. And let's paste it over here. Right now let's save this and let's see whether it works. Right, let's go to our post and let's refresh this page. And now we can see we have the previous button displayed over here. And if I click on that, we go to the previous post and this is the previous post and we have the previous and the next buttons displayed over here. And if I click on the previous button once again, we go to the first post and we don't have a previous button over here. We just have the next button and if I click on that, we go to the next post which is the second post. So if you go back to our posts, here we can see we have these three posts. This is the first one, second and the third. So let's click on the next post once again. 
and here we are on the third post and this is the third post and if you scroll down we don't have a next post so we don't have this next button over here but we have this previous button so everything is working all right so that's basically how you add next and previous buttons to your blogger website all right so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Oh, 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 oh,